What's going on, YouTube fam? Man, we back, man. Mustang gang. Got the work truck back there in the back. Got this thing. We finna do some Lauren Springs on it. I ain't never did Lauren Springs on one of these cars. I always did, uh, I did callovers on my last one. So I'm about to show y'all how to take the Lauren Springs off and how to put them on if I can figure it out, which I know I can. So hell yeah, I'm gonna do an unboxing of these springs. I'm gonna do a side by side comparison of them. Man, look at that back there in the back, man. That shit look good. But yeah, I'm gonna do a, a side by side comparison. Then we're gonna get it on the ground, see how it looks. So for right now, I'm gonna show you how it look unlowered. As you can see, man, we got that four by four stands going on. I parked it out here because this way the rocks at. Kind of give me something to lift on. Got a bag of tools sitting right there. It's been, it's been raining, man. Ain't rained all damn day. Now I want to rain. That's fine though. We still gonna get some done. So now we about to go to the truck, and I'ma unload these springs. My truck dirty, so don't judge me. My work truck it started raining on me. I don't know how I'm finna unbox this with one hand. Let's let's do it like that. <laughs> Okay, these are TN Springs. Guy on Instagram told me about them. They're supposed to be pretty low. But shit, we about to find the fuck out. Because uh, I'm not sure if they low or not. I know I've seen them on his car. They was pretty low. Green Springs. Something different. Like in, It's like import style type shit. Because I mean, everybody run SR Performance or uh, I think Ibach or... Uh, h and r super sport some shit around that steeder so i'm finna i'm finna go all import with this one so i'm about to get started all right so i'm gonna start in the back anybody doing this at home man safety first make sure you got you some jack stands and please don't get up under the car man but in the back only thing you got to do have your jack up under the uh axle because it's gonna it's gonna drop a little bit for the spring to decompress you take this boat out just let the shot do what it do. And that's it. Just take this out. Put the new one in. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. Hopefully, these are pretty low, man. I ain't going to lie. But I'm going to get everything off, and I'm going to come back when I got it when I got it side-by-side. -side. So, as you can see, got them off. TN versus stock. Man, that's a huge difference. That's probably like an inch or two, for real, for real. It's supposed to be two inches. From what I was told, online they rated for like an inch and a quarter. And I was putting the wrong damn spring on. So don't make my mistake. So we about to get this spring on. We gonna get everything buttoned up. And we gonna see how it look. Man, look at that, man. Damn, that look good. Hey, some 18s to set it off though. Some 18s to set it off. It's still four by four stance. But they still got a settle and everything. I ain't run no isolators in them. Now I'm about to start on the front, which is a little, little more involved. Really ain't much. But man, look at that. Damn, that look good. Up front now. Like always, safety. But uh, this got to come out. And them two bolts right there. And everything should just drop down. And that spring should come on out. So we about to see how easy this is, man. I wish I can record it, but man, this is crazy. Now we got the front out. I don't think I'm running no isolators with them. It wasn't that bad of a removal either. See, what I did was, I unbolted this from the top because that bolt right there is gonna be hell to get out. So I can just push that back in and rebolt that back to the top. I feel like it was easier that way. So I'm about to get this one in. I'm probably not going to run the isolators on it. I really don't care about that. So I'll be back when I'm done. <laughs> Yo, we got everything done, man. I got the front done. Look at that, man. Fuck. Yo, that look good as hell. I can't lie. But I took this off from here. And it just dropped the whole splinter down in the front. You got to do the front splinter then the back it just real shocks and prying everything out but man that looks that looks 100 percent better man 
Yes, sir. It found it like a Mustang. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, man, I'm excited about this here now. I can't lie. Some 18s. Some 18s with a 305 come alive in the back. <laughs> and probably uh 275 up front, 265. Man, that shit'll be hard. It's dirty. It's, it's super dirty. But hey, man, wheels on the way. Wheels on the way. But yeah. All in all, I'm gonna get this camera turned around. We're gonna talk about this install. All right, so we finna talk about this install. Install wasn't hard. I started like uh, seven o'clock, seven thirty. It's like eight thirty. I'm done. All the way around. That's what recording and all. And look at it, man. That looks good. It really needs some. Uh, I need to do the the cover fall lights. I need to go ahead and get the bezels for it. The install itself. But the install itself, it was super simple. Uh, if you got the chance to get uh, spring compressors, go ahead and get them. It'll make it a thousand times easy. You don't need them. You can honestly just get a, a, a pry bar or like a pry fork, whatever the name of them things. You can get one of those and be and be good with it. I mean, you just have to pry the, pry the uh, spring out. But if you don't want to pry it out, you want to be a little bit easy, get you a compressor tool, compress it, and it'll come straight out. It's pretty simple. The front, uh, drop the splinter, drop the shock, the scrut, so everything be out your way. Remove the uh, brake lines from the wall. It's just one 10 millimeter. Just move that out the way, and you set to go. Put it in, rise it back up, you're ready to go. The rear, you just drop the shock, and I, I did, I undid the, the quad shock. I don't think you even need those, so I'm, I'm thinking about taking them off. So. The, the rear is pretty simple too. You just gotta pry it out, then put it back in. And uh, yeah, man, that thing looks super good. That look a lot better than what it did, man. I had that four by four going on. I had that monster truck going on, that F-150. But hey, them wheels look pretty good on there. Even though I don't like them, they look pretty good. Fuck. So next video, I don't know what we gonna be doing. Probably installing the radio. I got that ordered on the way, maybe. I don't know, man. Maybe it'll be some wheels. I don't know what the fuck we doing next video, but I'm out, man. S subscribe, like, comment. I'm hot. I'm sweaty. I got the car looking a whole lot better. Hey, man, before I leave, shout out to uh, TN. Put the box beside me. Shout out to TN. That may be upset. Yeah, there you go. Shout out to TN. Super Sport, whatever the fuck y'all name is. Shout out to them. Man, great company. I love the Springs. I'm gonna go for a ride. And I'm gonna see how they ride. I'll probably take y'all with me. It ain't no use of going on a ride without y'all. But I gotta get all this stuff cleaned up. So that may be another video, but you, we'll be back, man. We'll be back. I'm out.